I was on holiday when I got my results by the beach with my family and my gran was crying because she didn't want me to move to England. The stereotype of Bigger is that we are a, a, a rural community, but in the middle of nowhere pretty much. Mr Morrison pulled me aside one day and said, have you thought about the likes of Oxbridge? My younger cousin got in, in an undergraduate sense and I thought, well, Catherine's as able as, as my cousin's. As a result of that, I decided to go to the open day. And she'd called my cousin and spoke to him. Then I decided to apply and then I got an interview. And, you know, excelled by the sounds of it. And then the next thing I knew, I had an offer. It can be easy for students to get into a bubble where they think, I've reached my limit and it's about pushing them further and have you thought about this? You know, could you meet this challenge? Watching Graham's interaction with his pupils and watching them grow under his tutelage and other teachers in the school as well, is, is that's where you get the buzz and the job more than anything else. I think at Bigger High School everyone knows that Mr Morrison's a very, very good teacher and I think he's very well loved by all of the students. Um, and I think he definitely deserves a bit of extra recognition. She didn't need to do that because once she leaves she should be, you know, pushing on as much as she can without thinking back to bigger. Um, but I was really grateful. He wears some quite brightly coloured ties. I just can't resist like gift shops. He had an America tie with like an eagle on it and... We've got, you know, US Democrat donkeys, US Republican elephants. The Declaration of Independence and stuff, that was an interesting one. I've actually got two of the Declaration of Independence, obviously with, um, you know, the scroll and, you know, the pen. I think I'm disappointing you today a wee bit, actually. <laughs>